All right, big task ahead here. So I have a huge problem. I have over 95 arcs on my neck alley shelves and that's not a good thing. So I am going to kind of give you a very quick rundown of all the books that are on my neck alley shelves. I think the best way to do this is probably to do it by genre. I have a spreadsheet that I keep track of all of my arcs so I'm going to go through all the books that I currently have on my shelves that are unread and need to be reviewed. I will have a little picture of the book here but I'm not going to go into super detail about all of them. If I do choose to go over any it would be just to kind of say like here's some that I'm really really excited for. A lot of these books have already been published so what I did is I went through and categorized them even more into books that I could find through Libby, through Hoopla, Everand, Audible, if they are still available on the NetGalley shelf app. While I may hybrid read at times I think I am primarily listening to stuff on audio just because I'm always on the go. So I did try to find as many audiobooks as I could, but with that being said, a lot of them have already been published. They're not really ARCs anymore. They're new releases or they have been traditionally published or republished with a new cover. I have some different labels for books. I think most of them I'm going with the first genre that's listed on NetGalley. So if it is a fantasy and a romance, if fantasy was listed first, then it's listed under fantasy. My spreadsheet doesn't break the genre up into like fantasy romance or like romance thriller or anything like that. So it's just going to go with whatever the main genre is. So we are going to start off with the first book that I have that is a classic. So I have Anne of Green Gables by Barbara Heller. And that's the only classic that is on my shelves. And then I have a bunch of fantasy books. So we have A Sorceress Comes to Call by T. Kingfisher. We have Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. January's by Olivia Blake. Of Jade and Dragons by Amber Chen. I have an excerpt of Somewhere Beyond the Sea by T.J. Clune, so not the whole book but just like the first four chapters. Sub-Zero Volume 1 by June Purr. This is actually a graphic novel. The Darkness Within Us by Trisha Levenseller. The Deer and the Dragon by Piper CJ. Fox and the Flame by Cassandra Flamori. The Last Dragon King by Leah Stone. Utopia Falling by R.C. Viley. Then I have Historicals. The Seventh Veil of Salome by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Good Dirt by Charmaine Wilkerson. And then I also have Mercury by Amy Jo Burns. And then I have a bunch of horror. We have Beyond the Bounds of Infinity. This is by multiple authors since it's in anthology. Private Rights by Julia Armfield. Hot Singles in Your Area by Jordan Shibley. Ghost Apparent by Jelena Donato. Then I have a couple of literary fictions. One Night in a Thousand Years by Craig Cunningham. The Favorites by Lane Fargo. Bunch of Mystery. So All Secrets Die by Andrew Watts and Dale M. Nelson. Blood Rubies by Mylan Do Kwong. Death and Morning House by Maureen Johnson. Every Time I Go on Vacation Someone Dies by Catherine Mack. If Something Happens to Me by Alex Finlay. Middle Tide by Sarah Crouch. One House Left by Vincent Ralph. The Chamber by Will Dean. The Dissection Murders by Steve Packwood. The Girl with Schizophrenia by James Massaro. And The Last Party by A.R. Torre. I have three nonfiction books. So I have Amigurumi Friends, which is just like the crochet plushies. This is by Jade Gothier Bouton. I Want to Die, But I Still Want to Eat Tepoki by Baksehi, and Powered by ADHD by Dr. Amelia Kelly. Then I have a bunch of like children's books. I was just kind of getting these as a really quick way to boost my neck alley score. So some of these are children's books and some of these are like graphic novels or manga. They just kind of went into an other category. So we have Happy Stories for Animal Lovers by Lisa Stewart Sharp. I See You Smile by Deborah Farmer Chris. Corgi The Complete Tale by Christian Slade. Manga Classics for Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. Monsters at School by Laura Baker. Onion Boy and the Backyard Bully by Damel Garcia. Picture Day at Dino Play by Sean Julian. Royal Best Friend by Preeti Birla Maheshwari. Super Magic Boy, I Am a Space Tiger by Jared Rossello. 
The Blue Canoe by Cheryl McFarlane, This is the Way in Dogtown by Yaoling Huang, True Friendship by Jack Gee, and Violin of Hope by Ella Schwartz. I have a couple of sci-fi, so Break of Dawn by Tetsuya Imai, and then Run by Blake Crouch. I have one thriller, Havoc by Deborah J. Ledford, and then I have a ton of romance. So we have Tangled Up in You by Christina Lauren. I also have the book club kit that We Are Bookish does. So that's a quick, really easy way to get points. A Five Letter Word for Love by Amy James. Be Mine Forever by Kennedy Ryan. Beautiful Broken Love by Shanora Williams. Broken Vow by Sophie Lark. Catch the Sun by Jennifer Hartman. Cold Hearted Casanova by LJ Shen. Cole and Layla Are Just Friends. This is by Bethany Turner. Elephant and Castle by Hannah Ledford, Fang Fiction by Kate Stamen London, Faded by Sarah Reddy. This is actually the audiobook because I have already read the physical book. Fired Up by Gigi Templeton. I have the ebook and the audio arc for Heart Restoration Project by Beth Merlin and Danielle Modaferi. Heavy Hitter by Katie Contugno. Hers for the Weekend by Helena Greer. How to Plot a Payback by Melissa Ferguson. I Can't Say No to the Lonely Girl Volume 1 by Kashikazi. If I Stop Taunting You by Colby Wilkins. Lady Stay by Lisa Williams Klein. Look on the Bright Side by Kristen Higgins. Looking for a Sign by Susie Dumond. Midnight Room by Katie Robert. Not Another Love Song by Julie Soto. One Curse Rose by Rebecca Zanetti. Played by Naima Simone. Red String Theory by Lauren Kung Jessen. Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. Savor It by Tara DeWitt. Shadow Play by Angel M. Shaw. The Au Pair Affair by Tessa Bailey. The Baby Plan by Emma Bennett. The Co-op by Tara DeWitt, The Fiancé Dilemma by Elena Armas, The Love Hack by Sophie Renald, The Next Best Fling by Gabrielle Gomez, The Other Side of Disappearing by Kate Claiborne, The rom commerce by Catherine Center, The Rule Book by Sarah Adams, This Used to Be Us by Renee Carlino, Under the Oak Tree Volume 1 by Suji Kim, Until Adley by Alyssa Milani, When Grumpy Met Sunshine by Charlotte Stein, Wish I Were Here by Melissa Wisner, The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk, Too Wrong to Be Right by Mel Melanie Johnson and one of my most anticipated wished by Sarah Reddy. I absolutely love Sarah Reddy so that's probably my number one on my list right now. Well what is my net galley score at you may ask. My feedback ratio is currently at 43% but if you have not heard my friends and I are doing this fun readathon in August called Arc August. It's primarily going to take place in one weekend during August but I'm going to be trying to read a lot from my net galley shelves in the month of August so that I can really whittle down this 90 plus arc list. So at the end of August, what I would like to do is maybe kind of do like a little check-in. If I don't do one weekly, maybe doing one at the end of the month um, will suffice, but I wanna do like a little check-in, kind of an update of like, here's what I read, maybe here's the highs and lows, because if I do read a lot that are kind of meh, I don't really want to talk about them, like that's not fun to me, but maybe just talking about the highs and lows of the month, and then if my percentage went up, if I got any more approvals during the month, yeah, it's just going to be a crazy hectic month. Anyways, thanks for clicking on today's video and taking the time to watch it. If you have gotten this far, please don't forget to hit the like button and let me know down below if you are someone who has NetGalley or Book Sirens or whatever ARC service, how many ARCs are on your shelf? Can you beat the 90 plus that I have? I think when I counted, it was at 96 or 97. I've, I've lost track at this point, but we're nearly at 100. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Where I have over... I have over... Shut up, dog.